Hey guys, Brian with WP Cupid Blog, and today I'm gonna to be going over how to sign up with iPage step-by-step step from start to finish. I'll also be providing you with an iPage web hosting discount that will get you up to 75% off iPage hosting, plus a free domain name. Let's get started with the iPage sign up tutorial. The first thing you wanna do to sign up with iPage is click the link in the description below so you can be taken to iPage, and so you can take advantage of getting up to 75% off plus a free domain name. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I'll receive a commission from iPage at no extra cost to you. Plus, you'll get an awesome iPage discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the iPage homepage. Click the Get Started button. You'll now be on the domain page where you can choose a free domain name. You'll see over to the right under your cart section, the Save 75%. You'll see three years being selected. Click this and you can also choose a two year term or a one year term. You'll get the greatest discount with a three year term. You'll get iPage hosting for $1.99 a month. If you go with the two year term, you'll get hosting for $2.49 a month. If you choose the one year term, you'll get iPage web hosting for $2.99 a month. Choose a term you like to go with. For this tutorial, I'm gonna choose the 12 month term. Now let's choose a free domain name. If you already have a domain name, you can just enter in the search field to continue with the domain you already have registered somewhere else. Once you type in a domain that you want for free, you'll be on a page saying if it is available or not. Under the domain section, you'll see add domain privacy plus protection being selected. This is an extra add-on that is completely optional. I highly recommend going with the domain privacy as this will protect your personal information from the public and can protect you from getting lots of spam and telemarketers reaching out to you via email and phone to sell you their services. When a domain name is registered, it is required regardless of the company you go with that your personal information be included in the public who is database. By choosing domain privacy plus protection, instead of your information showing, it'll show iPages information protecting you. Over to the right, under the Your Cart section, you will see the free domain name showing in the Domain Privacy plus Protection if you decide to choose this. Click the Continue to Add-ons button. We will now be on the iPage Add-ons page where you can select any add-ons you'd like to go with. All these add-ons are completely optional and you can even add these at a later time in the iPage dashboard. You'll get a cheaper price for them now if you get them when you initially buy your iPage web hosting. So just something to keep in mind. The first add-on is Website Backup and Restore. This can be a good add-on to have as it'll back up your site daily so that if you mess something up by accident or your site gets hacked or anything takes place, you can simply restore your site with a click of a button from the previous backup or a backup of your choosing. You'll notice this add-on is added to the cart by default. You can click the X button if you don't want to include this add-on. The next add-on is Site Lock. SiteLock protects your site from malicious attacks and hackers and from getting malware on your site. You'll receive daily malware scans, blacklist monitoring, which ensures your site doesn't get blacklisted by the search engines. If your site does have a virus, it'll block automated bot attacks and includes automatic malware removal. If you're going to be using WordPress to build your website, there are a lot of free security plugins that work just fine for protecting your site. So just something to keep in mind. Site lock can be good as it'll protect your site and if something does happen where it gets hacked, you won't be left trying to fix and find the malware. You'll notice this add-on is added by default. You can click the X button and remove this add-on if you don't want it. The next add-on is Google Workspace. With this add-on, you'll get access to an email address ending in the domain name that you went with. Along with that, you'll also get access to their storage, calendars, video meetings, and more business solutions. Google Workspace runs as low as $6 a month. Your iPage hosting account will come with a free email address ending in your domain name, so unless you really want the Google Workspace features, I don't recommend this add-on. Next, click the Continue to Billing button over on the right. You'll now be on the Billing and Payment Information page. You want to enter your billing information, and then enter your payment information. You can also make a payment via PayPal if you'd prefer. Click the Buy Now button. You have now successfully purchased iPage web hosting. iPage will now email you your receipt along with the login details so you can log into the iPage dashboard and you can continue creating your site. That is my iPage sign up tutorial on how to sign up with iPage. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more hosting video tutorials. Leave us a comment, we love hearing from you.